Making a move is such an overwhelming process at times. And couple that with the fact that if you have children, you've got to look for schools, get them enrolled, and so on and so forth. In our video today, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull up niche.com. It's a site that I often refer to to get a lot of public data on places here in Maryland to talk to you about. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to pull the school data up and we're just going to run through the school systems in and around the Baltimore metro area and have a conversation. And I'll sort of share share what's going on in those particular areas. So if you're looking to learn more about the schools in and around the Baltimore area, stick around, we're getting started with it right now. What is up everyone? It's Adam Taylor back again with another video all about living here in Maryland. Today, we're reviewing the school systems in and around the Baltimore metro area. Now, as a licensed real estate agent, I cannot specifically comment on schools and say, hey, this is a good area, this is a bad area. But what I can do, I can review public data that you and I can both pull up on our computer screens and just have a conversation about it. So that's what my video here today is. We're gonna just go through these school systems in and around the Baltimore metro area. And I'm gonna kind of share sort of what's going on, what it's like to live in these places, and and hopefully give you the comfort, maybe the answers that you're looking for to get assurances when choosing a area to live here in the Baltimore metro region. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to pull up my screen. I'm going to share the report with you and then we'll dive into it. So here we are. We've got the map open of the schools around the Baltimore metro region here. And I'm going to dive into them all and we're going to sort of work our way around. But the majority of the homes that my team and I sell are are in the Baltimore metro region here. So we service areas from as far north here as Cecil County, which is right up here, Harford County right in here, Baltimore County, which is all of this right here, Carroll County over here where Westminster is, Columbia, which is in Howard County. So we service all of Howard County and in Anne Arundel County. As I always say, from Baltimore down the bay, to the beaches in Ocean City we have you covered. So we'll go all the way down this direction, but we don't do too much on the Eastern shore here. A little bit in Ocean City and the Delaware beaches as well. So let's dive in and in reality, I want to start and go through the list. So we'll come out of here and I'm gonna go onto the list, which is one screen back right here. And the number one school system here in Maryland is Howard County public schools. And this is areas like Columbia, Ellicott City, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here. And what you'll be able to see are the rankings here. So it's receiving an A plus ranking. Again, this is not my ranking. This is niche.com and me going through everything and explaining it to you and giving you a little bit about what's going on in the county. So very diverse schools, academics, I mean, their ratings are off the charts. And you can go down here, you can get the individual school system web address right there. Best school districts in Maryland, number one of 24. You can see how they rank as far as diversity goes, plus pieces to teach. So if you're a teacher looking for a job, guess what? Niche Dot com is hooking you up and telling you where is a great place to work. And then this is an outline of Howard County. And as you can see, you have schools in here, A ratings, A plus ratings, Bs, and then you have a C plus in here. So depending upon where you want to locate in Howard County, it is going to be in here. And then we can also find homes for sale. And I did some just quick numbers here on the general market in Howard County. And right now there are 199 homes for sale presently. And they range from entry level starter like mobile home to 80k all the way up to six million dollars and everything in between so you can see which are the top elementary schools middle schools high schools my friends this is all here and this is what i use frequently when talking to folks about making a transition here to maryland so we'll jump back and we'll pick it up here in our next spot so the second area that we cover and I wanna to talk to you about regarding the schools is Carroll County. Now, when I pulled the Baltimore list that I showed you here in the previous segment, it did not have Carroll County. And in addition to that, it didn't have the schools in Cecil County, which we also service. But Carroll County right here is ranked and you'll see this here when I go ahead and click on it. We'll view the profile. Carroll County's ranking is pretty stinking good. It is number one district for teachers to teach in in all of Maryland. Best places to teach in Maryland, number four. And best school districts in Maryland, number four as well. Again, these are niche.com's 
rankings. They are not my rankings. I'm just regurgitating information that we both can look at here on the screen. So what's cool about Carroll County? So you can see the rankings for the individual schools inside the counties. You see a lot of A's and B's on this screen. And naturally there's gonna be different rankings for different schools in different areas. But if you're looking to move into like New Windsor, Westminster, Eldersburg is you know out here as well. These are all fantastic communities that we service. I mean, even Tawny Town here, it's not Tanny Town for those of you watching from out of town here, it is pronounced Tawny Town. So all of this right in here and Carroll County's done an incredible job for years. And what you're looking at, say you were in Westminster for goodness sake, and you had a job in downtown Baltimore, the commute that you're looking at is typically about a 45 to 50 minute commute. If you wanted to and your job permitted, you could actually take 140 down here to Owings Mills and pick up the subway there and head on into the city for your job. But just to give you an idea on the market in Carroll County, there are presently 106 homes available in all of this space, my friends, right here. 106 homes in the entire county available ranging in price from $65,000 on the low end to two and a half million dollars on the high end and everything in between. So again, Carroll County Schools, they are ranked number four in the entire state. And in reality, they should be number two in the Baltimore Metro region. So the third best school system in the Baltimore Metro region and the eighth best in the entire state. So there are 24 districts that niche.com lists here and Hartford County Public Schools is listed as number eight in the entire state. And if we add in Carroll County from the previous segment, this would be third in the Baltimore Metro area. So let's go ahead and click on this. And uh, let's, before we do that, why don't we go back on up here to the map, which is located right here. And again, Harford County is located Northeast of Baltimore. So Baltimore's right here. The drive to Harford County is anywhere from 35 minutes to possibly 40 minutes on a heavy traffic day. Okay. So we'll dive in, look at the profile of the schools in Harford County, and you can see the rankings right here. And then hcps.org is the web address to look up any and everything regarding Harford County Public Schools. And then here are the rankings. So best school districts for athletes. So if you have, you know, someone that's very athletic and they are looking to potentially get recruited to play in college or at another level, there's some really good athletic programs in Harford County to check out. Number three, best school districts for teachers. It's listed here. And let's see all of Harford County's rankings right here. best school districts in the Baltimore area. They're saying two out of five, but you know what? I am adjusting this and I'm adding Carroll County in. So it's in my opinion, three out of five here. And best school districts in Maryland, just like we, we spoke of here before. So as we're going on through this, let's look at the map here. So Hartford County, as we view on a full screen here. So here's Baltimore, just like we spoke of, Hartford County. So in the northern part of the county, and it's pretty much the same across the entire northern border of Maryland, it's going to be a very rural area. As you get towards the center, this is where your more populated areas are. And then again, down here towards the water. And you've got all sorts of grades in here, anywhere from A's, A minuses that I'm seeing, B pluses, B's to C plus that, that I'm seeing over here. Again, do your own school research to see which community is going to fit your needs. But you've got communities like Bel Air in here. You've got Forest Hill up this direction, Darlington, Pilesville, Haverty Grace is over here. Aberdeen is sort of in the middle right here and then Joppa and Edgewood are located in this particular area. Right now there are 185 homes presently on the market in Harford County ranging in price from $39,000 all the way up to one and a half million dollars my friends. So again this is Harford County and we'll back out here and I'll take a quick look at some other information that you really should be aware of when looking at, at Harford County. And then you, you've got your average test scores located here or right there, 15 to one student to teacher ratio, expenses per student. I mean, they really dive into all of this. So again, my friends, check out Harford County Public Schools if that is the area that you're looking to reside in. All right, next on the list and ranked number 11 in the entire state, 
is Anne Arundel County Public Schools. So Anne Arundel County, again, let's use Baltimore as our reference point. It's the community just south, or I should say the county just south of Baltimore. So as we click on here, overall, the county has received a B plus rating from niche.com. We'll view their profile and we'll go through everything. So B in academics, A in diversity, college prep, teachers receive a B, things to do, clubs and activities, and the administration grade is listed there. Here's your website again. Here are their rankings that I just explained for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Best school districts for athletes listed here. Best school districts in Maryland, number 11, just like I stated. Most diverse school districts in Maryland, number 11. Now there's some great things. Number one, if you are a water lover and can't live without the water and want quick access to the Chesapeake Bay, voila. Anne Arundel County is your spot. The majority of the area is pretty heavily populated all through here. Let's click the full screen here. Like all in here is very heavily populated. You've got like Severna Park, which I talk about quite a bit here. You've got Glen Burnie up towards this direction here, all in here. Now, as you come down this direction right here, this gets a little bit more rural in Southern Anne Arundel County, but all sorts of grade levels that we're seeing. We're seeing A's through here, B's, C, C pluses, all in Anne Arundel County. Now, as far as the housing market goes, and let's go on back here, because as I do that, I wanna look at some other stuff on Anne Arundel County with you all here. But right now in Anne Arundel County, there are 550 homes presently for sale. Sales prices range anywhere from 52,500 on the low end to $13,775,000. And that is because of the proximity to the water. That's why you see that big and large gap in the pricing here is because there are a ton of waterfront homes. Now, as we go back, you've got all of your elementary, a lot of your elementary schools listed here, middle schools and high schools. And again, niche.com is putting the top schools at the list here. This is how they've done it. Some more statistics here, average SAT score, 1160, 88% graduation rate, 14 to one student teacher ratios. Teachers are making about 73 grand a year. So again, all good stuff. Use this stuff, my friends. But uh, if you wanna be by the water, you want plethora of homes to choose from and convenient access to Baltimore. You gotta look in Anne Arundel County, my friends. I mean, they've got a lot going on and read the reviews. See what real parents are saying. Go out to Facebook and the like and check out these individual school system groups. So you can go out there to like Anne Arundel County Public Schools group and just do a search on that in Facebook. I'm telling you, you're gonna find so much additional information and it's gonna ease your transition, whether you're moving you know, from county to county in Maryland or you're moving from another state or even another country directly into Maryland. This is gonna give you the information that you need. All right, before we jump into the next school system, I need to grab a drink of water and wet my whistle here. But look, if you're finding value in this video, it would mean the world to me if I could ask for a simple favor. It just requires you clicking your little mouse here once. And that's if you would click the like button down below. It's the one that looks just like a thumbs up. The reason I need you to do this by doing that, you are helping the YouTube algorithm out and pushing this content out to other folks looking to make a move here to Maryland. And that's my goal, my friends. Look, I want to be the number one source of information for folks looking to move or relocate right here to Maryland. And I am super passionate about it. I wear it everywhere I go with my hat. But if you would, please consider hitting that like button down below. Don't forget to drop any of your comments. If you have information that you would like to share on the schools and let's keep it clean and classy people. I don't need people bashing the school systems. If you got something negative to say, guess what? You're getting blocked, you get, your comments getting deleted. I don't need none of that nonsense right here on my channel. But if you've got something good to share, a positive experience, please drop it down below because again, I want other folks to hear from you. Those of you that have gone through the school system, parents, etc. And I want other perspectives to be able to chime in on this particular channel. So with that said, my friends, Let's get back into it and finish up the video for you. Here we go, we're jumping back in and the next school system that appears on Niche's list here is Baltimore County Public Schools. So we've got Baltimore County located right here. They received an overall grade of a B. So let's jump in and look at Baltimore County. We'll pull the map up here again in just a second, but Niche.com is giving Baltimore County Public Schools an overall grade of a B. And here are the various categories and how they stacked up. There's the website for Baltimore County Public Schools. Here are the rankings. 
okay most diverse schools 14th best school in all of the state of maryland and 14th best for teachers and here is baltimore county so again we go all the way up to the pennsylvania line in baltimore county and then what happens is it's almost like the shoulders of baltimore county wrap around the city so you've got these two ends that go all the way down on the eastern and western side and as you we look in here you're going to be able to see all sorts of ratings you've got a's a minuses b's c's down in here and everything in between and you've got some a's scattered in here a plus down here but again so much is going on in baltimore county as i mentioned before you've got rural areas to the north okay and, and again that holds true pretty much across the pennsylvania border here and then as you come on down you've got essentially the baltimore beltway all the way you know running around here so you've got areas like randallstown woodlawn over here in this direction towards the center here you've got timonium lutherville cockeysville up this direction you've got moncton in here baldwin out this way you've got phoenix over in this direction here perry hall white marsh over here dundalk in here and middle river sort of round out the county now let's go on back because i like all the additional information that niche.com provides here and as we look back in the school profile you're going to be able to see all of the stuff again the elementary schools niche.com is ranking them from the, the best to the worst in their own algorithm however they're doing it then you've got your middle school rankings listed right here and then high school rankings are here as well here are your uh, sat scores pretty similar to the other uh, places that we've looked at this is where kids are going to college it's kind of cool I'm just noticing that here even this is our fifth area that we're reviewing but that's also listed there 14 to 1 student teacher ratio 74 grand for the teachers getting paid uh Towson uh, they're ranking as the best area to live in the Baltimore County area. That's one of the best communities. I'm not going to say it is the best community, but and then again, overall reviews. But this this is a good spot if you want to be somewhere close to the Baltimore metro region or have to be. Baltimore County is a great place to call home, and there's so many amazing homes and communities for you to check out. Pricing in Baltimore County starts on the low end at thirty-eight thousand dollars all the way up to the top end price point of 11.7 million. And there are presently 646 homes for sale right now. So the next school system we're gonna look at, we're gonna head out towards the east side of Maryland here. And we just finished up in Baltimore County. So that was at a B. Next one is Cecil County Public Schools. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And this drive from Baltimore is an hour easily up Interstate 95. So. A lot of folks, what they'll do is they'll take the train in to commute if they're commuting from Baltimore and points of like Perryville and the like. So let's go into Cecil County Public Schools. Go ahead and click on things there to view their school profile. And here we go. So here are your overall grades. Looks like pretty much B's across the board for Cecil County. Here's the website to find a little bit more information out about Cecil County. And then they are ranked the 17th best school district out of 24 in the state of Maryland. All right, here is your map again. And we'll go ahead and open up the full screen. And we've got, it's pretty rural in the majority of Cecil County. The really heavily populated areas are in areas around Elkton, as well as Northeast. There's a little bit of a concentration of people in Perryville, but overall the county is very rural. Got the Susquehanna River here, some waterfront stuff going on here in Northeast and points of Perryville, but let's go back and look at everything. Now, as I am going back, there are presently 176 homes for sale in Cecil County, and they start as low as $60,000 and work their way all the way up to a price point of $13 million for a beautiful waterfront estate. Some of the rankings, again, 17th in the states, most of our schools, and then their rankings for athletes are listed there. Here are your top schools. The elementary schools are listed here. Middle schools are listed here as well. And then again, your high school rankings. Again, do your due diligence and check out the schools individually if you are looking to learn more. Your average SAT score seems to be right around this 1140 mark. And that's probably because of the state curriculum that all of these teachers have to teach. 13 to one student to teacher ratio. So that's a little bit better than what we have seen here. The salary for teachers does go down pretty drastically, almost 10% from what we've been looking at. It's 
you know, been around that 75K mark. Elkton is listed as one of the areas to live in in Cecil County. You can see this, look, this person loves Cecil County schools and there's so many other reviews. So I encourage you to check out Cecil County Public Schools. It's community, or, or Cecil County rather, is a community that we do quite a bit of business in and it's not one, quite honestly, that I talk about here a lot on the channel. All right, the next school system we're gonna talk about in the Baltimore metro region is none other than Baltimore City Public Schools. So Baltimore City Public Schools located right here in Baltimore. Now the city schools have received a C grade and all of their appropriate rankings are listed right here directly from niche.com. Here is the website to learn a little bit more about the city school system and some of the rankings here for the city schools. So six best for athletes, number 14 for diverse schools. Baltimore City ranks number 23 out of 24 school systems in the entire state of Maryland. Now presently, there are 1,000 439 homes available for sale in the Baltimore City limits, which is this box right here. And prices for these homes range anywhere from $5,000, which is essentially just like a teardown home, all the way on up to $5,950,770. And you can see the rankings on your screens here. A lot of C's, some D's in here, a few B's in there as well. And I think I even see an A ranking in there too. So right here in the center, Baltimore School for the Performing Arts. But that's what you're looking at as far as the Baltimore City school system goes. Now I'm gonna try and go on back here. I'm gonna have to drill back down to get into the content, but we'll take a deeper dive into the makeup of the city schools here. So here are your best elementary schools, you know, starting with Roland Park, and a few are listed here. Your middle schools, again, listed in their grade order from niche.com, and then as well as the high schools are listed here. And then you've got the appropriate academic grades, as well students student to teacher ratio the pay is pretty strong for city school teachers here and then it's suggesting areas to live in as well and then again the reviews from independent folks that have gone through the school system are listed here as well well there you go that's a review of niche.com's rankings for the schools here in the baltimore metro region now, if a move to Maryland is in your future, guess what? My team and I, we would love to help you out with your transition here to Maryland, but we just need one thing from you. That's for you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or best of all, schedule yourself a Zoom appointment with the Zoom link down in the description below. That is the best way for us to quickly jump online, meet one another, interact, and see what my team and I can do to help you out in your transition here to Maryland. Because... Look, we've got you covered from Baltimore down the Chesapeake Bay all the way to the beaches in Ocean City. My team and I have you covered. Now, before you go, look, picked out the next video for you. Got to check it out. It's your next step in learning more about the great state of Maryland. So until the next video, my friends, I will talk to you later. Take care.